and welcome back and we're back you know, this little game shapes.io um, now that the wires update has been added it's like controllers on factorio i'm gonna play this this save game level 32 and uh, Well, this is my hub. From, from level somewhere, can't remember, level 25 maybe? That's the last unlock or something. And then it's just... The next unlock is just next level and that's it. A different shape. It has... Maybe it will get uh, like the three layers or stuff. But for now, I built a machine that has eight channels. Like... Uh, two sets of four basically so this game has shapes of these four quadrants and they have colors and they have shapes there are four shapes in total like this rectangle a circle you know there's a star and a shuriken like this is a star and uh, Oh, well, shuriken is a bit more rare, but shuriken is basically this one. And you cut it up, and then you glue the other, when you, you rotate the other part and you glue them together, you get a... But basically, you know, this is where you deliver stuff. And uh, I started out, and, and as I unlocked various um, elements, you know, I made factories all over. And then I, I just, you know, I tried to organize it on the central delivery rail, so to speak, because the hub has, you know, four sides and four inputs per side. Uh, and basically, uh, hub, when you unlock the free mode, output the shape, the current shape, on the wire. So I'm pressing E to switch between layers. So if you follow, you know, this wire, I'm just transmitting what the hub transmits, you know, all the way here. And then I made this, you know, beast. This concept, you know, like you have a storage bin, it has a main output and then when it can't you know, when the belt is blocked, it further contents away. You know, because we're... Well, this machine is based on combining um, all the different quadrants with all the, all, the sh all the shape variants. So basically all these other belts are standing still and only... Well, usually only four belts would run on this side, maximum. Because it's creating one one layer of a shape, you know, like four channels. And then we just repeat it for the other sh channel, so we get eight per shape, per quadrant, so to speak. And then four shapes means we need to use... Uh, it's 32. Just like the programming. <laughs> but basically, um, this is how I get the, the shapes. I, I reuse half you know, because, because conveniently, this patch has, um, well, two squares on it. I think I'm using squares in this setup, you know. And the quad cutter is, like, very simple. You just, you know, just put it in the thing, and it gives you four output. Then you delete these, um, Unnecessary shape basically and you get like see you have to follow which quadrant to get you can also rotate the shape, right? But you know that's the uh, main premise behind this and I'm you I can use this method to harvest Two shapes, you know to save up this save on the space 
I mean, it's not a big footprint, you know, like we're get from this, we're getting two two full belts of a shape quadrant. You know, and because they are entering the same storage, they, you know, it works out. I mean, like, see, the belt is 1759 speed, right? This element also has a speed. And the quad has 439. And if you time it by 4, you know, like, this single belt is connected to four colors it should be enough to you know keep up with the input constantly and the rotator also has a speed and everything so you have to watch out basically you know like i'm i'm getting circles and, and uh, squares from you know from this convenient shape so when I need the other circle, I just rotate it. So see, I got four belts. And because I'm doing it twice as efficient, you know, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight channels, you know, like all of these are filled with just these four machine, four machine lines, so to speak. And then we use the rotator to, you know, Position our piece accordingly and why is this one soft? Weird. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's just the, the fullness of the belt. Uh, yeah, so I get the shuriken from here. I discard the. Um, so you see, I, I do it four times and then the four machines, but I get uh, eight lines out of it. So I just use this half because um, you know they're going to the same storage. If, if if they didn't go to the same storage, you know, because you know when uh, if I'm gonna use this quadrant either once or twice, you know, like one layer requires shuriken. Like I think in this example it is. Yeah, see the four shurikens are going out because. This one is a shuriken, and this one is a shuriken shape. Um, but basically, yeah, this is how I get this um, circle. What was left? Stars. Oh, stars are here. So same deal. Like I ignore these diagonal ones. I only harvest the stars. And then, um, I have, you know, like this algorithm, I output the shape on the wire, like what's stored in here. I should have lined them up better, you know, like made them all, all match up basically by the quadrant. Because now it's harder to wire them. But basically, I, you know, like I put their um, signals on the wire. And if you use the alternating wire, you can, you know, place them side by side. But you gotta watch out. And then, <clears throat> it's really simple. Basically, I take the current shape, and I, you know, like, you gotta rotate the quadrant, you know, which quadrant you are analyzing, and then put it on the wire. And then I just compare, you know, like, this... Um, like, I, I, I use the, the game's va variant of quadrant, like, if you can see the, like, um, the way the cutter works is it, it, you know, like, it treats this quadrant as zero, and then it goes, you know, like clockwise. And then, you know, the second quadrant is here, or, you know, first one. Thir uh, third, well, index is number two here, and then lastly, number four. But the way um, this wire's rotator is set up, oh, 
uh, you know, like the signal rotator is uh, is rotating it clockwise. So you know to get the first quadrant, or yeah, well the zero quadrant is like already on the line, so we just take it directly. So it's a red shuriken, you know. See. But because it outputs a full shuriken instead of a quadrant, so we need to refine it down to our shuriken, you know, quadrant. Because you can't compare a full shuriken, you know, like if you follow this wire. It, it, uh, I call it the secondary channel. Because it's the, uh, well, the upper layer. You know, like the green wire checks. Oh, for me at least, it it it, it holds the like the third quadrant. See, zero, one, two, and three. But it's only one rotation to you know to if, if you're using the wire rotator to read it and to follow it. it Connect all the way, then it shares its signal, or you could just you know like put put all of these. You know, like separately here and connect them directly and you wouldn't need to wire them like I did. So we have the storage um, signals coming from here, all, all of them, you know, like, like the same as you have on belt, you know, like you have, I mean, well, it should be more here, but since, since they can be shared between the primary and secondary channel, so I have half half of them. So you see, I transmit all of them. Like, like it should be eight times two. No, it's four shapes, four quadrants. It should be sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So I transmit all the all the shapes, and then I enable the belts with the um, filter. May, I mean, maybe there is a better way to do it, but basically, I compare if the quadrant is needed or not, and then I enable the belt. So this one is comparing a, a, a quadrant number one, quadrant number one. And you know you need to compare all the like in a brute force or table way. You know, like see, I share the signal between these two comparers because it's it's gonna you know it's the same road, but I you know I use these two channels differently. Well, that's why you, you need two comparers, right? You can share the input, but here I compare different things. So this is a, a secondary channel. This is the shape that is on top. And if you if you notice the the shape has you know like the top one quadrant one has a, a square and indeed it is a square and I made sure to link it correctly. And this one is a shuriken because the base layer oh, I can check it directly. So this one holds the secondary blue one on the input so yeah this this is the secondary this is the primary so if you were to oh yeah it's even this is a big one this is smaller so. yeah so the final shape would be like you take this one and then you, you know you use stacker to use to stack this one on top yeah and the green one folds the primary channel and that's what I call, what I call it. But yeah. So we compare and then we just, you know, switch on the belt or not. And I'm, I'm forwarding with the transistor, I'm forwarding the shape. So this one is turned on, so the belt is going into the tunnel, and then it feeds into the stackers. I mean, you could make the machine a bit smarter. You now, since all of these belts are dormant, maybe you could design a, a smart belter because right now it's a real mess you know like it has uh, 
like you you gotta go back and clean it clean it up a bit so see what the shape poops uh, i mean what the belt poops out is like a combination of the old shapes and the, and also you know we don't want this bypass to be active so i have to go back manually and edit it out you know if you edit this one out the stacker becomes much cleaner and the, you'll see in a, in a while this belt will clean up a lot same here I mean depends on the input yeah so we would remove this one here or oh it's not backed up yet maybe it works but basically something something with these belt doesn't keep up you know like here it may be it seems like it's going one to one so you don't need to remove it but basically whatever so you have this stacker thing for all of the channels like you have oh let's see how many do i have well i mean one layer has you know four by four i think it should be 16 right so 16 inputs need to handle yeah because you you have 32 and then you divide it you know like one layer has well 16 possibilities and the other layer is the same so you just duplicate and then i have my final shape going out here let's see i mean this one bypass and then it will clean it will become very clean i mean and i have to remove the old if there's something left over from the old um, input seems like it's empty nothing's really interfering like for example if the next shape doesn't use this quadrant it will you know pollute the belt because it's going you know like into the underground and into the stacker but see now it, it it's gotten quite clean now you have to it's not completely manual you know it's too automatic and so you can remove this one because of this input you know it, it bypasses the belt and pollutes the, you know the output and you can watch this design or in a video by the developer and then we find the next input and then we cancel the pollution though it seems to be quite clean on this side for whatever reason and then i use this <laughs> little snake design to test what's on the belt Same with the output belt. We have all kinds of crazy, you know. And then the then there's the color, and uh, I there there is no um, clean way for color compare. I use the same method. You know, either either the belt is on or off. But uh, here I use a direct. Uh, memory input so to speak and we can go back and you know prune this one as well i mean this one only has one input and this is the output so it just uses the red channel i mean i should have you know like made displays but basically this one uses two so we can remove this one and any pollutants if there are any so and you see the belt already cleared up a lot this one wants a white so if i remove this one it will and clean the belt a bit it will really start to poop out a lot of white um, mostly <laughs> here but yeah um, so I use the direct insert 
what I mean by that. See, I have the shape from the hub, and this time I take the other channel, I take the color of it, and I, you know, I need to rotate the shape into form. So this one is zero, and with three rotations, we are analyzing the quadrant number one. So if you can see. Quadrant number one is a white shirt, and then indeed it is. Um, and then I see I use a constant signal. And because this is a, a red channel, you know, like I'm controlling the red belt, you know, I'm checking uh, the truth table. So, you see, the way you get, um, well, depending on the color you get, you need to either enable uh, a channel or not. You have like three inputs, red, green, and blue. Let's see, red, green, and blue. And then you mix them to get the color. And so you check, you know, is it a red color? No. You know, I can then, you know, use the input to the next one, check. Is it a green, uh, yellow? So, no. And I, you know, like I combine these with a, an OR gate and then is it a magenta color and it, 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 indeed it is and that means we need to um, like enable the red channel but there's one more check um, if if it's a white color then all the channels need to be enabled and you know like that's the final check so it, you check it four times for each channel, like for each quadrant, I mean. So see, this one analyzes the first, second, two rotations is the second, one rotation is the third because it rotates clockwise. So if you rotate this shape clockwise, you know, like it analyzes only this um, quadrant number zero. So you have to rotate it into place. Then you analyze it, and it, it, indeed it is a white shuriken. And since we're not using the shape, well, whatever, you can see directly into the logic. So, the same for all four belts on the primary, um, primary line, so to speak, so the base layer. And this is, this is the top layer, so to speak. I call it the secondary channel. But it's like a layer. Oh, the top layer, so to speak. So if we had more layers, we would need to add more of the channels because we need to we need to know. Like we have, um, I'm I'm doing this because of the of the way. Oops. See these color channels so cleared up a lot. Is it our shape? Something doesn't appear to be correct. And the painter does the same as the quad cutter. So this this is the uh, quadrant number zero. You know, this is quadrant number one, two, and three. Um, yeah, so I followed these wires. These are linked wrongly. So I just quickly rewire them. Uh, if only were that simple. I mean, hopefully it works. So now this line is stopped. This is, should be magenta again. I mean, should be white instead of magenta. Oh, 
dude. And the unlocks. We need this one. So now everything working smoothly in sync again. Wait, so what was, was it like? Tunnels and distributors. So that's that. And then the rotators. And this one. Extraction. I mean, these, these go tand in tandem. Like, if you don't extract if you extract faster than the belts or belts are slower than the extractors then whatever but these can be side you know like put in parallel so if your rotator is too slow you just add another parallel and it can be fixed but these cannot be fixed because this one uses belts and only belts and the belts is belts well but whatever um, so this one is correctly now, and this one is still going the wrong way. Did I change them? I mean, I hope that's the only mistake. If I clean this belt out, so hopefully. Yeah, see, we're now getting the correct shape. Let's see what's on the belt. Looks a more, way more like the final shape we need. And if I check my, I'm delivering 440. I need 525 for the next level. So it should, once these reach the hub, should be complete so sorry about that had one miss wire had the green channel wired wrongly to the wrong input belt so now happened because these you know like you got to be really careful which channel you you know like connect to which filter but basically yeah so um this is the green for you know like for all the quadrants green channel so you know you check all the color combinations and if it's uncolored you know the last combination see uncolored so we have one two three four five six seven eight eight possibilities but we don't check the last one because it's, it, it will always be zero you know like if it's not not green not yellow, not not teal, not white. Then we don't need to use uh, a white, uh, a, a green belt. So that's how you control it. And then, then there's the, you know, like all of this copied a second time for the secondary channel. You know, like the top layer. It also checks this the quadrant number three. It's a. Uh, It's a white square. Yeah. This is quadrant number two. So this one, it's a um, red shuriken. And so it doesn't need a blue channel. So we just, you know, disable it. Yay! We reached the target. See? Now we just go back and replace the thing. You know, like all of these are filled up. So for example this one uh, we don't we don't need to use it so we got to go back and you know empty it rather than wait you know for it to um so to speak so this one also has a lot of backup of the red but we are only using it seems like we're only using green so see these belts are empty so that's like i can tell and you know like it has a bit of 
of wrong color here in the buffer. So, I mean, it's no point going back here. And... Why is this belt not moving? Maybe something stalled because of the bypasses that I deleted. But yeah, let's just go back, replace the bypasses. For now, let's deal with the shape first. Shape has stopped completely. Somewhere here. These are lined up so I can go through them easier, but these are... You know, I didn't anticipate the space for these. And I had to move them because, you know, like, the wire can't go over over these things so they were in the way <laughs> so you just use the wires first to really big machine and then what's called later but yeah it, um, that's basically it it uses every combination of shape and then you find, you know, like, where's the first input. You don't need to do much about that. But here, it's polluting the belt with unnecessary shape. And this one, for example, I don't... I mean, you can just delete it anyway. So, you don't need a bypass here and here. This guy is full of completely wrong shape. Yeah, we have a backup here. We can, you know, like empty the belt as well here. Is that our shape? I can't remember. This is the primary one, right? Yeah, because of the shuriken, yeah. I mean, I wanted to make this side the secondary, but it ended up as the primary shape. And then this one is the secondary shape. It uses the squares and circles. Let's see over here. So this one is polluting the system a bit. We should put this one out. This one is polluting the system a bit. Or like 3,000 backed up of the wrong shape. This one is polluting the system a bit. You know, because of the bypass is working the last one. And then we have our shape because it's only four quadrants. And once it clears out, we should get uh, something way closer to the final shape. Consistently on the belt. Like we're getting something weird now because because something is not quite Uh, we have our shape more consistently now. Let's clear this out as well. So yeah, so that's way closer to the final shape we want. This one doesn't seem to be alright. It's missing one side. Consistently. Did I miss something? It 
has one, two, three, and four inputs. But it's only getting two here. Maybe it's pollution from the... I mean, these backups don't really matter, so just remove them freely. Maybe this is polluting me. I mean, you're using the quadrant number two and three, but you're getting something this out of it. This belt is polluting things. This one as well. Yeah. Two and three, see? Should back up here and then bypass. Enter the bypass. But see, this belt is not yet full. It's still... Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's still moving, but yet it's... it's it somehow manages to, you know, be quick enough to... That That's what causes the backups. That's why you have to go back and, you know, remove the unnecessary item. But yeah, so... So that's third and fourth and you should... This belt should be way closer to the final product that we want. Yeah. Way more consistently. Let's see about the final one. Wow. <laughs> what is that? Oh, right, the colors as well, yeah. Um, so this one only uses red is polluting the thing. And we remove... No. We remove this one and it will be a lot cleaner. This one same. If we remove this it will be a lot cleaner. Uh, this one doesn't need red. Doesn't need blue. And since it's only one channel, you know, it doesn't matter. It should go directly. Uh, here, same thing. The red one is polluting the system. Here, oops, this is the blue one, so this is a yellow channel, yeah, should be, probably, <laughs> this one seems clear, this one is one channel, so, um, yeah, so this belt should be more consistent yellow and there you go a lot of yellows now something not clean here Yeah, a lot cleaner now, let's see, a lot closer to the final shape we need, once it reaches hub, we should be, you know, good to go, Re um, reaching next level, see, a lot cleaner, this one is very consistent now, to the final shape, and then we just, you know, stack them up, and all of these, this was just to get these two belts. We assemble all, all the colors, you know, like uh, separately, like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we use uh, three times four is 24, right? No, three times uh, twice. So, you know, like, you need 8 colors, and you're using 3 channels, so 3 times 8 is 24. And that's what we have here. Well, like, we have 8, 
8 once, twice and 3 times. It comes up to 24. So see, um, we have Well, basically you get the point, right? In total we have 24 and then we divide them by colors. This one is one color. You know, like all of these are coloring one quadrant. And let's see what's on the belt. I mean, it should be. Why is the hub lagging? Why is it giving? Oh yeah, so there again gave, gave me the victory. So now we have to go back, replace the missing parts. I mean, given enough time, it, it theoretically should clean clean itself out. But see, like for example, we're not using the green one and. Are you really gonna wait until this 4000 backup clears out of the system or this 2000? Well, it's really kind of. I don't know. <laughs> Annoying. Have to go down, back down here to hunt. You know, for all the changes or edits I did. Like this one is polluting the system. This one probably. Basically, you need to go back and re redo all these storages. Safest. That way. But yeah, that's how you make everything. Like this one is polluting. And this one is polluting. And this one we don't need anymore. At least for this current shape, you know. All these backups need to be somehow removed. And the color is again a mess. But, I don't know, it's an interesting game. Maybe there is a better way to do this logic. And it all ends here. Like these shapes are for the blueprints, these are for the unlock. So right now my, my limit is this shape. I mean, if you ha look at my graph, I'm making this one very, you know, I went a, a lot into this final one, but it, we are way over overproducing it. And this one is the slowest now. Bye-bye.